Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Square. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Rizzolatte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? We are in my little corner over here. I kind of like it. I just got done filming the TBR video, so if you are watching this, it's probably already up because this video, I just realized, is not gonna go up any sooner than that one. But we are here for a very chill intro to this. A welcome, or welcome to the channel. Hey, by the way, so chill, I forgot my intro. Um, as you can see, this is now our TBR. So this is what I'm gonna be working on in this video. But today we are swapping screen time for reading time once more. Now, I have noticed, I went back into my journal. Hey, this is another, this is a sign to journal in 2024 if you have not, because I made a point to track my mental health and just how I was feeling. And there is a direct correlation between my absolute anxiety spirals and the hot thoughts and the little brain goblins turning gremlin like and my screen time they're at the exact same exact same place and when i noticed a drop in both was when i was filming one of these videos and it never went up it was in october i just scrapped it because i just thought it was boring and silly but i think that of every video i upload <laughs> So I figured, why not? Let's film another one. I have a few days left of winter break. Might as well do it. It will be fun. So I'm coming to you on a Wednesday and filming this. So it is currently 1.48 p.m. We are going to go make a decaf iced latte. And I really... <sighs> I just love the ritual of making the coffee with my espresso machine my partner got me. That's really the thing that makes me feel like I'm getting started on being productive or like, okay, now we're going to do something. It's just that routine of making the coffee. So if you want to come over, uh, I'll be, you know, I'll put pants on. We, we can hang out. I'll make you a little coffee, decaf or not, whatever you're feeling. Uh, I don't really have anything else to offer. I, ooh, I do have matcha. I don't make it well. But technically, it's made. So if you would like that, just let me comment down below and then head on over. It'll be great. So the first book that I'm going to read in here is The Hunting Moon. Uh, this, like my other screen time vlogs, is not going to be a super, let's say, in-depth reading vlog necessarily. I will still review the books. But if you want more of as my thoughts are changing and forming on the book as I read. That will probably be in the weekly vlog that correlates with this timeline. I'll link it down below, don't worry about it. Or some of these, if we get to them, hey, that'd be cool, are gonna be in a new releases vlog in February at some point, but also I don't know when this vlog is going up, so that may matter or that may not matter anymore. But there you go, there's, there's that. Any relevant videos for the books, I'll link down below. How about that? I'll just tell you that. So we're gonna start out with The Hunting Moon. This morning I read 14 pages, so just smashing them, just smashing them. I'm on chapter three, and I did rewatch the Salt Lake City finale. Actually, I'm in the middle of rewatching it. It's on the screen. That's why you're angled. <laughs> just so. So I can't get caught, but I've already told on myself. So I'm probably going to finish watching that, to be honest. But the screen time that I find 
okay is if I want to watch some YouTube. Sometimes I'll watch a little bit of YouTube on my phone, like not right before bed, but before I start my bed routine. So like from six to seven, I'll watch some videos sometimes. And then from seven till 8.30, 8.45, I read and then I go to bed. So that is fine, but I really don't. I want to work on not watching videos or being on my phone at all for the first few hours of being awake since I can do that right now where I'm at uh, on this break. And I think that'll be good. The people tell me that's good for your brain or whatever. So we'll see if they're true or if they're fibbers. And yeah, the amount of screen time that I currently have is Instagram. And I am doing a dry January social media edition. So anything like I'm posting on YouTube and skedaddling. I'm not posting on Instagram and I'm not going on Instagram at all. So that's like a complete, well, hey, if you've gotten a reel from me, by the way, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was from the past. It just didn't get sent until January. I don't know. It was weird. It's a glitch. But I'm trying to not go on Instagram at all. And I think doing this video will hold me accountable for that. So that's why we're truly starting this off. And I want to read some freaking books. And the other thing is it's the third day of January. And I've just realized the first three to five days... I have a decision paralysis kind of thing where my mind is just like, eh, scrolling on Pinterest for like little house DIYs you'll never do and saving them all and all the recipes you'll never make and all of the bartender recipes like you literally don't have the liquor for. You should do that. You should do that because that's easier than sitting there and like engaging your noggin or making a decision on something else you want to do. So the first three days are me trying to get past that and now I kind of am getting to the point where I'm like okay I actually want to read let's read let's focus my attention so that's why we're starting at middle of the week I don't usually like to I like to do a full seven days but this is where we're at we'll probably keep this going until Monday because it's a teacher work day and not a student's day but Hey, guess what? That doesn't matter right now. It matters here. Four to five hours is how much I'm going to aim to be reading every day because that is how much I like to be on freaking Instagram. And do you know where I'm at? Reels. I deleted TikTok because, first of all, it was awful for my mental health. Second of all, I was on those little videos all dang day long. I just changed it for Reels. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And then if I don't go on Instagram, guess what? I'm Googling things. I, number one person who doesn't need to be Googling things, right here. So we're not going to. We're going to read. Starting now. Is this called the crema? Is that what the girls call it? Any baristas in the chat who are nice? Is this what it's, I feel like the, the crema is supposed to be bigger. It's supposed to be a little more intense. Um, I guess that's not bad. But look at that layer of white chocolate mocha. Oh Lord. All right, here on Olivia's barista day, we are going to also put in a little bit of toasted marshmallow. This is my favorite syrup. Thank you for not asking. So gonna tell you anyways, just a little bit. There you go. Quite enough. I actually just remembered I wanted to make a plain vanilla latte, but that's too late. We're already in this thing. So here's an oversized straw. Is this calming for y'all? I feel like me narrating anything is not calming. I feel like it's actually effectively the opposite of calming, but who knows? Quite frankly, who cares? That's my 2024 motto. Eh. The planner I have asks for a motto. I think that's my motto, 2024. Eh, eh, we'll make it through. And if we don't,
Okay, hey y'all. So I'm on chapter 10, page 54, and I've read for like a little bit over 50 minutes. So we're averaging a page per minute, solid. That means mathematically, I could finish this in three hours. So I guess another two? No, another three, yeah. I could finish this in three hours and then I'd have an hour and 10 minutes left to start another book today. That's a really good amount. I am not upset at that at all. Um, I now have Ginger here, as you saw, to guard my phone so that I can't get on it as much. She was noticing that I was uh, not sticking to that very well. And I decided to pull up a Spotify made Southern Gothic playlist to listen to while I read this because this is it gives me Southern Gothic vibes. So I think that that's perfect. I'm excited for it. But I just want to check in at what my pacing is right now. I will say the further I get into books, we're clearly, this is the second book in a series, so we're very clearly kind of easing our way back in, getting our foot in the door, and then I think we're going to build up some steam. Once that is going, I read much faster. My reading speed's definitely dependent on attention ability and engagement in the book. And for me, music tends to help immerse me more. So I think that we're gonna, we're gonna get the party going. Plus, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is on tonight, so I have a goal. Now I have a goal. I have a goal to finish this by 8.30 tonight, and if I keep going, it's four hours left. I should finish with time to spare. Should. I have to a lot for dinner as well, but we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's talk about the prim and proper legs. This is so cute. The mysterious bean. Look how regal she is. I can't. I love my scraggly little queen. Ooh. Sorry, <laughs> my magical fairyland ASMR is on. <laughs> So I have gotten to, I'm just about to be on chapter 19, page 104. And that's honestly like probably 35% of the way in, I would say. And I'm really liking it. It's a good time. It's a good little time, I'll tell you what. Uh, but the plan now is we're about to do dinner. So I'm going to continue reading up until then. And then I'm going to watch my little, my little shows tonight. And then I'll read until I go to bed, basically. So I won't check in with y'all again because I'm keeping myself on a strict schedule. And that includes no screens after 8 p.m. for sure. So I won't have my camera with me. I'll check in and see what we did tomorrow with this one. Um, but yeah, it's going well so far. It's good to be off of my phone. It's good to be off of the social medias. And I think doing this video is going to help even more because then I won't be on there for a long time and with more of a, like, I don't know. The driving force being I just don't want to be is not strong enough to keep, to keep me away. So y'all are. Thank you. soldier who can ride on my sword. <laughs> Me into my fantasy land. Okay, so where'd I put my book? So I did finish the timer for yesterday. Full, yes ginger dear, a full five hours. Mm -hmm. And in that time, I did finish The Hunting Moon and it was so good. I think that my brain is still not able to, I don't know, focus for long periods of time. Like I keep having this thing where I'm in the middle of reading and I'm like, what if I was on reels? <laughs> and I know that the longer I go without doing that, I can, I build that stamina back up. And it comes honestly way quicker than it used to, but it just hasn't for the moment. 
So let me put this little Kindle away because I don't think I'm going to read on that today. I don't know what book I'm going to read next, but we are going to start another timer. And if you're a stickler for me actually reading while the timer's going, don't worry. I'm not, I'm going to start it for the sake of the footage <laughs> and then pause it right away and then go grab a book and then start it again. Okay, so don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I really do want to finish a lot of books, so it's actually gonna happen. Okay, okay, and then a boop. Okay, let's go find a book now. There is best friend Ginger. We have best friend Jake. And here is my little book setup. It's just so cozy in here right now. Okay, but why I've gathered you here today. Okay, so we have, oh, oh my God, chill, chill. Everyone, everyone calm down. So we are at an hour and 47 minutes left. So let me pause that while we chat. Um, so I've read a little over three hours. Uh, that was me trying to do math, and then I just decided swiftly, let's not do it. And I've gotten to page 134. Gotta say, I'm reading slower than I usually do, but I am having a really good time, so I don't care. I also realized I own a copy of this book. I own the UK edition. Okay, it's beautiful. Love it. I'll show y'all later in the other vlog if you care. But that's great, because my whole thing was I want to either read books I own or from the library, and look who's doing both. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for the pat on the back. I needed it. But yeah, I'm on page 134 so far, so I have an hour and 47 minutes left, and we will see what I get to. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna finish this book. I was thinking about it, but I might get to 200 pages, I think, in two, in an hour and 47 minutes. Maybe a little over 200 pages, I'm thinking, but I'll show you guys a little, a little bit, you know, a little bit of B-roll age and uh yeah it's unfortunately though another late night for me i'll be going to bed at 10 10 p.m i don't know why i keep doing this to myself i need to read earlier in the day tomorrow that is the goal for tomorrow i also have a package coming so i'll have to be awake no naps so we'll see how that goes Hello, party people. So I'm coming to you uh, at 6, 17 p.m. Yes, to start this day. Now, I think we're gonna end up rolling over some hours for reading, but that's okay. Let me get my book. I did end up reading quite a bit last night. I got to page 250, as you saw. So I do think I will finish this guy tonight. Uh, I am going to take a shower and do all that jazz before I do that. Ginger is eating, if you can hear that. She refuses to eat <laughs> on just her raised bowl and she refuses to eat on a plate. The plate has to be on the raised bowl. So it makes that sound, it's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I went and did things, which you will have seen in the vlog. So that's why we are here now, but let's, let's get to, let's get to reading. Ginger, please.
Okay, all right, boop. So, I definitely forgot to continue recording at one point. <laughs> that didn't even go by my ear. Because I just had paused my timer to go make my little coffee and then I just didn't keep recording. So, we have a little less, like two minutes less than three hours left. And I have finished the night of the storm and updated my little vlog about that. And now we are moving on to The Fury by Alex Michaelides. And I'm excited to see what this is about. I'm definitely still in a thriller mood. That uh, last one didn't really quite do it for me. So I'm hoping that this one will because I have already read two other books by this author and really did enjoy them for what they were. Look at him just hanging out back here. What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> Hi guys hi guys so we are here gathered for a little update on the timer vlog so i do not know where the clip went i was just organizing it because i'm trying to organize as i go to keep things like a little bit more organized if you can believe uh and i lost a clip so we are just going to catch y'all up to now where we're at what we're reading what we're doing and go from there okay okay so yesterday i read 60 percent actually might have been a little bit more than 60 percent, maybe 70 percent. i think my thriller for the other vlog the night of the storm i believe it was called so i read 70 percent of that we'll say and then the rest of the timer i used to read 30 pages of The Fury by Alex Michaelides, and then I had an hour left on the timer and I fell asleep. So it, I, yeah, I read for four hours yesterday, finished one book, started another one. I'm happy with that progress, to be honest with y'all. So we're good here. I do want to start a new timer. And I was debating adding on that hour because it is 2 p.m. so we could read for the rest of the day to be honest with you so I think that's what we're gonna do and then just see where we get to because I have tomorrow off it's a holiday so I have nothing but read in time today which you know we all love so yeah we can get we can get started on that I am planning to continue with this and then Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need some reading time for today and tomorrow's timers because I want to read this fantasy romance, which is a chunk of a book. So the goal for today is to finish off this. I'm 26 pages in. This book is not 300 pages. It's 297 pages. So I definitely think 260 pages is easily doable, especially because it's a thriller how much i will get done of this fantasy romance i'm not sure i've heard it's one of those kind of fantasy romances where it would stand on its own as a fantasy or stand on its own as a romance because it's so both of them fleshed out and this is almost 700 pages so we will see where we get to with that but for now let us get started Okay, so I read for an hour and a half and I am just shy of eight pages of a hundred pages into here. So I guess I'm just shy of a hundred pages by eight pages. Yes, I'm going to take a quick break to eat some dinner and then I'm going to get back into reading. I still have four hours and 37 minutes left on here. So clearly we've got a lot of more reading time. And I do think I'll be able to finish this book today. It's just how much we'll get into the fantasy romance. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I am still going to go with it because I was debating picking up a different 
thriller in the meantime, uh, just for the sake of like this vlog. And also because I'll be reading a lot of it into the night and I'm afraid that my little noggin is not gonna stay awake well enough. I need to see what time actually. This timer's estimating I'll be done by bedtime if I continue reading right now. And I don't stop for four and a half hours, which the Real Housewives of Potomac is on tonight, which is pretty boring season. So to be honest, if I was going to miss one of the Housewives shows this week, I would not be upset at it being that one. But I also like to keep up because now we chat about it in the vlogs, the weekly vlogs at least. So yeah, but uh, I am enjoying it. I'm also enjoying setting aside a specific amount of time. And it's kind of fun to see how much I read on the weekends versus the weekdays with going to work full time. I still read quite a bit, I would say, uh, especially because I'm being more purposeful with how much I read. But this timer definitely makes me prioritize it over other things which is nice and something I need to keep doing, but I'm not doing probably enough without filming this. Like when I'm not filming this kind of video, I'm not, I'm definitely getting on Instagram too much and watching too many YouTube videos. Like I, why am I, what am I doing that for? Don't know. Anyways, let's get, let's get dinner and then we'll get back into it. Okay, dinner is done. We are back to reading. It's a good time. It's a good time. Reading snacks. Back to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, pausing just for a moment to say that we now have three and a half hours left, a little less than three and a half hours, and I've gotten to page 162. I've also, I'm also pausing this a lot because I'm updating the new releases vlog while I'm filming this, but y'all. This book is good. This book is good. I'm having a good time. I'm reading it very fast. So I definitely think we're going to meet my, our goal. But right now I'm going to go take a little bit of a brain break. I'm going to get a little snack. And then we're going to be back to business. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> my esteemed colleague has decided to join in on the goings on. What's your goal for reading tonight, Bean? Hello, hello, hello. So we are at an hour and 20 minutes left for the night. I have just finished The Fury by Alex Michaelis. And I'm going to film my review of that really quick. And then we're gonna get back into reading right away. The ghost is in the bedroom with us now. <laughs> Somewhere, don't know where it is. And well, actually according to my viewfinder, it's right here, so. Cute. I'm gonna go grab our next book off of the shelf and we'll read that for an hour and a half before we uh, eventually fall to slumber. That's the plan. I don't know an accent that is. So I'm just gonna go. It's too far gone. Too far. Hello. Go oh, okay. Oh my gosh, this is the time we have left. Wow, it's really not focusing. Okay, let me pause it again because I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. We need to talk. Okay, take a seat, get a coffee. We need to talk. That's a new accent unlocked. I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again, actually. Take it out. All right, babes. <laughs> We're getting into Raiders of the Lost Heart. First of all, cute, cute. I picked this one up because it reminds me of The Mummy. 
don't ask me for like a rationale. I don't know. I just vibes. Uh, so I'm going to picture Brandon Fraser from The Mummy the whole time. Yeah. Okay. But like, let's actually get started. Hello guys. I woke up this morning to my partner waking me up because it was snoring. So that's exciting, that's fine. I'm gonna sit in this little chair all day except for when I have to go to an appointment and continue my little reading. So in the little bit that I have left, y'all saw I read to chapter three. This is why I want to start my reading early in the day today because I read so slow the closer we get to bedtime. And I am such a strict bedtime person. Like my body just decides. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, go to sleep. And I just have to abide. Jake's playing over there, sorry. So anyways, now that that's all figured out, let's go ahead and get this little party started. Why don't we? And do some reading. I forgot to turn on the mic. Okay, so. I have just finished, oh my gosh, um, this book. So I am going to really quick go film my update for that vlog and then we will get started on the next book. We have an hour and 16 minutes left before we're done for today. So I think we could make a good little dent in my fantasy romance. So that's probably what I'm going to pick up. Yeah. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. Finally, right with you and I, the future is bright. 